So yesterday I posted a uh, very small contrabassoon riddle, uh, a seemingly impossible passage um, that included a really low A flat, uh, one whole step below the range of a standard contrabassoon, one half step below the range of a, uh, a contrabassoon with a low A bell. <laughs> And I asked you to guess how I played that. And I didn't use any uh, digital trickery or any extensions. Um, if you've been, uh, if you've seen some of my videos, you may have seen the video where I talk about contrabassoon extensions. So of course I could have played the low A flat by itself with a low A flat extension, which goes in the bell. Um, but that would have made the low B flat at the beginning of the passage impossible. Um, someone else, uh, someone guessed that um, I may have played the low A flat by lipping down low B flat, and I'm not, I'm not brave enough to say that that would be impossible. Um, but I know I can't do it. Uh, the lowest register of contrabassoon is not very flexible as far as intonation is concerned. So while you can lip it down, lipping it down a whole step, um, I, I certainly can't. Um, but most of you are on the right track. Uh, this was a multiphonic fingering. Um, if you play the bassoon, you'll know that multiphonics are uh, special fingerings that produce um, overtones that are not harmonically related. Um, so like a normal fingering would produce multiple pitches, but all of those pitches would be part of the same harmonic overtone series, so we would hear it as one note. Multiphonic fingerings produce um, uh, pitches that are not harmonically related. Um, but uh, this particular fingering was um, what, I, what I call a resultant tone. Um, it's a multiphonic fingering that um, produces overt or overtones that um, are not harmonically related to a note on the instrument, but they actually um, create an uh, incomplete harmonic overtone series on a note below the range of the instrument. Um, if uh, you play bassoon uh, or have just been on YouTube a while, you may have seen some of these fingerings for, um, on the bassoon, there are fingerings for low A, A flat, uh, G, F sharp, F, and if, um, if you're really lucky, you might be able to get a low E. I've also heard rumors of someone playing a low E flat, but I've never, I've never been able to do it myself. Um, on contrabassoon, I was not, had not been aware of any of these fingerings um, being available. Uh, multiphonics are much, um, there are much fewer of them on contrabassoon, uh, just kind of the way the, the, uh, the tone holes on contrabassoon are quite a bit different than tone holes on bassoon, which mean they, they can't support multiphonics as well. but. I was goofing around with multiphonics yesterday, and I, I found one for a low A flat. And the fingering I used was based on low E flat. So I'm going to play a low E flat as normal. Um, to that, I'm going to add the C sharp key. Um, and what that's going to do is that's going to make that E flat a multiphonic. Now, you're probably thinking right now, that sounds nothing like a low A flat, and you're right. Uh, right now, though, the, uh, the partials that that multiphonic produced, low E flat with the C sharp key, were not uh, well enough in tune with each other to sound, to complete an incomplete, har to form an incomplete harmonic overtone series. So, um, in order to bring those um, harmonics in tune with each other, um, I found that if I add the low C key to that, that that for whatever reason helps. So, 
Now I'm going to play low E flat, add the C sharp key, and then add the low C key. So the effect at the end should be something that sounds not entirely unlike A flat zero. And that's the answer to the riddle. Um, I did find a good, a good number of other interesting multiphonics, and I'm going to make a, another video uh, going into more depth on those multiphonics and just multiphonics on the contrabassoon in general. But that's the answer to the riddle. Have a good day.